Hey Gemini, welcome to your reading for mid-June to the end of June 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so that means it's not going to be for everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading if you want. And because it's general, the roles can be reversed. Alright, so let's see. What is going on with Gemini? For the second half of June, what is the overall energy? All right, we have, okay, we have soulmate and we have regret. Okay, so definitely an intense connection here, somebody that you feel you have a very strong bond with, it feels like it's a soul connection, and somebody is feeling regretful, all right, of something that has happened in this connection. So let's get into it and see what this is about. And also for those of you who had seen my post about Charlie, the stray cat that was in the clinic um, in critical condition actually, he's doing well, he's fine, he's recovering, I have him here with me actually. And if you would like to donate to the rescue that helped me pay his medical bills, I do have the link to that in the description box as well. Um, it's actually a dog rescue, so I am very, very grateful to the fact that they that they helped me out. So I'm just trying to kind of help them get back at least some of the funds that were spent for Charlie and as well as a couple of other cats that were poisoned by evil neighbors. And yeah, things like that. So back to the reading. Let's for you we have the eight of cups the two of swords and the five of wands okay so there might be a situation that you've been trying to detach from or you feel like you are emotionally detaching from but at the same time you're kind of iffy about it like like you're not sure whether you want to or whether you don't want to and so i feel like you're very conflicted when it comes to um this detachment so let's see for them We have the Six of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so this person I feel is working hard actually on something here. Um, they're trying to, to really put in some effort to feel good about themselves or to really feel like they are succeeding at something. They're trying to find some kind of a victory here, possibly with you, and really moving forward. I'm seeing a lot of action actually from their end. And again, it could be just that they are... Um, it might have to... We'll see. We'll see when we clarify. Let me not say anything else. Let's see for the near future. For you, we have the Page of Cups for them. And these cards are like sticking together. The Ace of Cups, wow, okay. And mutually we have the Three of Wands and the message for you here is, oh my gosh, <laughs> all right, the Seven of Cups. Okay, so I see a lot of love here. Um, I see you being open to this connection um, regardless of the fact that you're kind of like at this point where you don't really know what to do or you or you maybe you just don't even know what's going on um, very conflicted about that or you're just um, you're feeling conflicted about the fact that you have not walked away from something here um, another person here though is feeling a lot of love for you and I do see you being open emotionally to a connection okay so I don't know for some of you it could be two two separate situations going on um you would know so we'll see all right i do still see a little bit of uh, this is like a waiting energy but it's not really coming in that way i see it more of expecting expectations expecting something to happen almost like knowing something is going to happen here all right but at the same time the message for you is the seven of cups so we'll which could represent a little bit of confusion which might be your energy now so we'll clear Gemini, I swear, this has not been happening for the other signs. Cards are acting up. Maybe there's a lot of restlessness at the moment between you and another person. A lot of... I don't know. I, I don't, it's almost coming through as irritability, even if it's not showing up in the cards. 
All right, let's see. Let me clarify this Eight of Cups for you. All right, we have the Chariot and we have the Emperor. Okay, so there's, here's this, um, it's like a tug of war that's going on within you. I feel like there's a pull. And one of the, one of the pulls is this drive to really move forward, to really do something, to take action. Like you just really want something to happen here. And even if that something is for you to actually have moved away from this connection. And then on the other hand, there's the sense also of, wait, 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 like I want to make sure I'm in control here. I want to make sure I know exactly what I'm doing because it's almost like that go feeling. It feels a little impulsive and it's almost like you're not really sure if like, where is that energy coming from? Like, yeah, I want to emotionally detach. I, there is that part of me that wants to move away from this, but am I just being a little reckless in, in doing that? Like, am I, there, am I missing something here? And then there's the part of you that's, you know, wanting to have control over the situation. So it's kind of like on the one hand feeling like you don't have control and then on the other hand really wanting to have control. So it's but a, a, it's also coming in like you you there's something about that not having control that appeals to you. And that's why it's confusing. Can you see the two of swords? So I hope you you guys know what I'm talking about cuz cuz I don't know. That just, I'm having a hard time even coming up with an example. <laughs> All right, uh, so clarifying the Two of Swords, we have the Eight of Cups and we have the High Priestess. Yeah, you know, it's like your, your intuition here is actually, I feel, pushing you towards walking away, towards detaching. But you're still conflicted. There's something that is, and it could be other people. It could be other people that are um, influencing you here. Again, don't forget that the roles can definitely be reversed. Let's see. Five of Wands. The Three of Wands. And because this Three of Wands, for some reason in this reading, is coming through to me as having some expectations or expecting something, this could have to do with other people's expectations of you. Um, or even the fact that you are actually kind of waiting. It's like procrastinating from doing this. And, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, we do need to take our time with things, but for me, the way I'm seeing this here, it almost feels like, you know, procrastinating actually causes more conflict in you and possibly more confusion. Let's see what's going on with this other person. Let's see the Six of Wands. All right, the Queen of Cups. Okay, so there's a person here that actually wants to have this connection with you. This person holds a lot of love for you, a lot of emotions. I feel like this person is loving and they it's like they're still hopeful for this and they would still want this to work out with you. Let me see the Eight of Pentacles. Alright, the Queen of Pentacles. A lot of queens here. What's going on here with this person? Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. So this person is putting in a lot of effort, um, also taking care of themselves. I actually see it more on in that regard here. I feel like this person is really trying to find what is going on within the, their own self, putting effort into balancing themselves out, grounding themselves, but also finding their self-dignity, finding um, their self-respect. And I feel like this is something that it might be a little new to them because I feel like they're still kind of sorting it out. But there is a lot of effort being put into this. It's not, it's not something that's easy. They still want this connection with you, but at the same time, they're really working on 
maybe even cutting things out from their life, cutting things out that don't seem to be um, bringing about a result. Maybe even cutting certain people out. And it's something that does take work. I feel like this is not something that came naturally to them or if it's concerning the situation, it definitely doesn't feel like it comes naturally. It feels more like, you know what, whatever it is that I'm doing, like I'm doing it because I need to have self-respect. Like whatever it is that I'm doing, I need to do it because this is what is going to be good for me. And it's actually taking effort. Like they're doing this very, very consciously. Let me see the Eight of Wands. The Two of Wands, so, sorry, the Page of Wands, I don't know why I said two. Um, the, the Page of Wands and the Nine of Swords. I feel like this person feels stressed about a community about some kind of a communication here. I'm seeing a very strong desire to have a communication or actually communicating with you or waiting for a communication, waiting for something to happen, wanting for something to happen. And there's a lot of anxiety and stress around that. Um, it could even be some stress and anxiety concerning movement, moving in a certain direction, actually starting off on some kind of a new path here. And I feel like it is something that they really want, but at the same time, it's really creating a lot of anxiety. Uh, whatever the case, this person does have a lot of love for you. So I'm having a hard time understanding what's going on between the two of you. I'm just, it's kind, it's more like seeing each of your energies like separately almost like they don't really mesh together who is regretful here someone is regretful i don't know gemini this is a complicated reading let's see the page of cups Ooh, the lovers i feel like this one to come out too the ten of of wands. Hmm. See, here's the thing. You're you're open to this. You're I feel like you're open to this connection. You you want this connection, but there is either something that you need to release. Or you're just feeling like there's just something very heavy here at the same time. You're still open to it. I feel like you still, you do want this even though you are, like I said, emotionally detaching. It could even be that this is a separate situation that you are detaching from and a separate one that you are open to. If you are open to a particular situation, I feel like it's this person here that we were just looking into. And that first energy may be for someone else. For some of you, obviously it can be the same person. But it almost feels like you you might even feel like you are a burden to to this other person if you are, you know, being indecisive, if you're not sure what to do, and maybe this person is, you know, the one kind of waiting for you. It I feel like not that you are a burden on them, but that you feel like you might be a burden on them. And then for that reason, that might be a part of why you just kind of want to keep your distance but you are open to this and you do feel this connection, basically. As do they, right? We have the Ace of Cups here. Let's see for them, the Ace of Cups. The Two of Cups, okay, wow, what is going on here? So this is what is coming up. I mean, I, I see you being open to this, um, possibly feeling a little like you are a burden on them or maybe you're feeling burdened by this whole situation and possibly even by your own self. It really depends on the situation. This person coming up, I feel like they're opening up even more, more so than you. They're just open to this love. They want this connection. They want, they just want this, plain and simple. So if it's that you're waiting for this person 
and maybe that's why you're thinking about moving away. So for those of you where that's the situation, I feel like this person, I don't know what their issue was, if they're the ones that had a particular issue to resolve, but I do see them putting in a lot of work and moving forward. Whatever it is that they're moving forward towards, it does create a lot of stress, but they are putting in the work, okay? Let's see the three of wands. the six of cups the ace of pentacles and the six of pentacles okay this is actually very beautiful here um i feel like you know it's like there's this i feel like it's just like this deeper knowing like just expecting um there might be a little bit of waiting here but i do see this coming together all right this is a reconciliation this is a new beginning starting in the um in the physical right a new potential here one of balance, one of give and take. It's almost like, I feel like the, um, because based off of, of the first cards here, I feel like this is actually set in motion and now it's just kind of waiting for it to really come together. But I feel like that, that path, it's like locked. Like it's locked into place and it's just a matter of, of certain things resolving and having a reconciliation here. So let me see what that Seven of Cups is as the message. All right, the Two of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so this is all about, you know, the confusion that is in the current situation, okay? I feel like there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of um, what if this, what if that, you know, which way am I going to go? What am I going to do? What is this person going to do? What are we both going to do? What is it? What is the future going to be like? I feel like there's a lot of that. Um, and it's kind of like, again, I feel like the more that there's this procrastination on your end for whatever it is that you want to do here, okay, the more that it is just keeping you in that state. So I feel like the message here is to, you know, move forward. Your person is moving forward in one way or another, all right? It might be with a lot of stress attached to it, but I feel like there is movement on their end. And the message for you here is for there to be movement on your end as well, not necessarily towards them, okay? You would know whatever that message means for you, moving in a certain direction that you feel called to. Because I feel like I said, you know, there, your intuition is here. Your intuition is here. So it's just a matter of actually trusting it. All right, Gemini, if this resonated, let's get your final Oracle message. And if you like this doll that's been on the desk during this reading, I do have the Etsy link um, in the description box. All right, so we have the waxing moon. The energy is gaining momentum. Yeah, and that's exactly what I was saying, that it feels like, you know, the, the path is locked. It's like it's just... The both of you working on separate issues at the moment and then it's like it's just building 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 um, and I see it building here in the near future and then just kind of expecting knowing that this is just um, coming together here so Gemini those were your messages thank you so much for watching and much love